What's up guys, my name is Lucas aka Lumia and welcome to this brand new vlog. Today I have to drive with Kent about one and a half hours to my first tractor driver's lessons and I have to drive about one and a half hours back. So that's uh, pretty far with Kent, I have to drive through the dunes, I have to cross a uh, second uh, dam. So I'm uh, now going to drive there, I have to be there uh, within two hours or so. So I'll uh, put the time lapse uh, on the bonnet again. So uh, that's what you're looking at uh, now. Let's go. Okay guys, so I just arrived. It was a big road trip. I think I, uh, it, it was about uh, one hour and uh, a quarter of an hour or so. So I'm now uh, here at 100 meters distance or so. So I'm now going to eat something and then uh, I'm going there. Already passed it and the tractor is already ready there. And by the way, not going to film the uh, driving lessons, unfortunately. That's, uh, that's too much for now, I think. I just want to focus on the, the driving lessons. So uh, yeah, that's it. So let's uh, eat something. Still got one quarter of an hour or so, but I also want to be early. Uh, yeah. So here's, uh, here's a bread, which I'm going to eat. Yep. Okay, so uh, maybe I'll see you guys over there, but maybe I'll see you guys afterwards. So that's what you're going to see right now. Okay guys, so it's now already a lot of hours later, I just came back and I drove about uh, 3 hours. It was very nice, very nice people, I learned a lot, it all went uh, very good. Also uh, driving backwards with a big trailer uh, went very good. It was 16 tons uh, uh, of uh, weight totally. So I'm now going to leave this place again, Zierikzee. Well I'm first going to do some sightseeing over here and now I'm here. So I'm going to drive to the water, so uh, that's where I'm going right now. So uh, let's put the time lapse on the bonnet again so you can uh, see that. Let's go. Okay, so I'm not driving here, but I see a very nice dive slash dune. And probably there's water on the other side. So I'm going to have a look if I can come on the dive and I can, uh, maybe can do some very nice sightseeing because there's also the Sealand Bridge somewhere uh, more uh, the other way. So if I can go there, that would be uh, nice. This is the first trip I've ever made with Kanta, so uh, why not uh, do some uh, sightseeing right now? Weather is good, so uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to try and I'm going to take you with me. Let's go. So I drove a very little bit further and what a view again, whoa. 
very nice weather also. Very blue water. It's good, man. Whoa. I think it's uh, also getting time to explain to you guys uh, where I'm now all driving. So uh, maybe I'll also do that this video with a map so uh, I can explain some things to you. Because every time I tell things about dams and bridges and whatever, and uh, most of you probably won't understand anything of that. So uh, yeah, maybe it's also time to explain something of that uh, to you guys. That's uh, what I'm also going to do tonight probably. What a view. Let's continue. Yep. Okay, so I now drove a lot further. I'm now getting closer to the V Land Bridge. But I now saw something and I think it's nice to explain that to you guys. I'm not sure if it's correct, so I'm not going to say what I think uh, it was. And that's that you every time see uh, the land is going like this. And there's, then there's a creek and then it's again going like that. You probably uh, don't know why. Well, I think I know why, I'm not very, very sure. That's to make sure the uh, river, well, it's not really a river, but let's call it a river, doesn't uh, make uh, curves like this. Because every time in the, lo in the long curve, there's uh, sediment because it's there slower and in the short uh, uh, curve, there's corrosion. So uh, if you do that, like, that then uh, you won't have the corrosion and the uh, sediment so you won't have curves in there but if uh, those wouldn't be there then this uh, river would be after a uh, hundred years or so you would see uh, very much curves in it like this so uh, that's probably the reason why they did that I got that at uh, geography a few years ago at school so I think this is true but I'm not very very sure uh, sorry if I couldn't find the good uh, English words because uh, yeah, this is not something I explain every day in English so uh, sorry if I uh, don't use the correct words but uh, I think you guys understand me what I uh, want to say so uh, yeah that's also uh, a lesson geography with Lumio let's uh, continue and yep we're getting closer to the sea line bridge Maybe I'm also going to cross the Zealand Bridge and then uh, directly going back just for the idea that I've also been on the other island. So, uh, yeah. Maybe I will. Also depends on how, what time I have because it's already half past four. I also have to drive all the way back.
bridge, it was a lot of uh, trouble. So I went to uh, the town center from uh, from uh, CXA, and uh, all people uh, were there uh, sitting and eating and all looking at me. It was very uh, very weird, very cringy, but uh, yeah, it's very nice now. I'm now on the road, finally, and uh, yeah, it's still about five kilometers of driving, I think, and then I'm on the Sealand Bridge. Now I'm going to cross the Sealand Bridge, and I'm going to return. Still one and a half hours of driving. That's, uh, that's very much because uh, yeah, I'm only driving further away from my father's place right now because I'm driving to the Sealand Bridge. But yeah, I just have to go there just for the idea, just so I can uh, cross it off my uh, list from where I've been with the uh, Canza. So that's just why I do it. I've got enough petrol right now, so that's also good. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue and. I switched the GoPro off right now because uh, the GoPro still has uh, 41 minutes of filming. And when I want to make a time lapse when I uh, drive back, I need those 41 minutes. So uh, that's why I stopped it right now. So uh, I'll see you uh, just on this camera again. So uh, yeah. I already see a piece of the ceiling bridge up there. Whoa. Yeah, there it is. By the way, I don't know why I'm so excited for the Zealand Bridge, but uh, yeah, it's just the feeling from, from the forest trip from home with Kanta, just to be on that bridge, just as a uh, good point to uh, say, well, yeah, I've been on the Zealand Bridge, so uh, that's why I do it, so uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you there, it uh, won't cost a lot of minutes uh, as I'm uh, looking over there. I'm going to turn the uh, GoPro on again because uh, yeah, this is also uh, important uh, to film, of course. Yeah. Okay, guys. So now we can see it even closer. So I just found out the bridge is five kilometers long. Imagine five kilometers long. Whoa. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's just do it. Why not? I'm now uh, there. So uh, yeah. Yes guys, there we go, the Zealand Bridge. Now here you can also see it, the Oosterschelde as it's called in the Netherlands. So I'm now somewhere in the middle of the Zealand Bridge. So here it is. Here I am with Kanta. The cars are driving very, very closely to me with 80 kilometers per hour. Also, car not only cars, also trucks. So uh, yeah, here I am now on the Oosterschelde, as it's called, in the Netherlands. So over there is Zierikzee, and on the other side is Roes, as it's called, in Dutch. So here we've got Kanta, as you can see. So uh, yeah, I'm now going to continue and drive a little bit further. I'm afraid there's rain over there, so maybe I'll have some rain when I drive back. So uh, yeah, I'm now going to drive further and then I'm going to return. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's switch to the GoPro. Yep. I've been with the Kanta. So uh, I've just crossed the Zealand Bridge over there, as you already know, because you already heard it for a few times. So there's the Kanta. So uh, I think it's now time to drive back because it's already six o'clock in the evening and uh, I have to drive back, I think, two hours or so. So that's uh, pretty much. So uh, yeah, I'm going to drive back two islands. 
So, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to film a lot because the GoPro uh, SD card is full and the uh, battery is empty. So I only got this camera, so no time lapses anymore, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So uh, yeah, I'm now going to drive back. It's also going to rain, I think. Hopefully not. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll see you somewhere on the way, or maybe I'll see you uh, when I'm back at my father's place. Let's go. So as you can see I've just arrived here back at my father's place. It was a lot of driving today with the tractor, with the scans. I uh, drove everywhere so uh, yeah it's now time for some good chillings and uh, some good choppings also. It's now about uh, 8 o'clock so uh, yeah that's what we're going to do right now. So uh, let's go. Maybe I'll end the uh, vlog in the ne next shot. That's what you'll uh, see right now. Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm not editing the vlog and I saw I forget the anti-vlog, so that's what I'm going to do right now. It was very nice with tractor drivers lessons, I learned a lot and uh, also nice people. My next uh, tractor drivers lessons will be next week, so uh, maybe I'll also take you with me with the vlog again. So it's not time to uh, end the vlog, that's what I'm going to do. Don't forget to uh, leave something in the comments down here, smash the like button if you like this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down here and share this video. And then hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow at my brand new vlog. This was Lumio, later guys. Lumio.